Okay guys, today we're finally getting to graphics. So, this is brought to you by John from johnsjava.webs.com. Uh, so, the graphics we're doing today are going to be in web applets. So, for use on the internet. Something you can actually use now. It's kind of cool. Uh, now, what's really important here is, well, what an applet is. It is, well, when it appears, you're going to see a little square frame with stuff drawn in it. So, an applet is simply the object that is that square pane. So far, you've only made invisible objects. Well, now, people can see the object. It's the only difference. Import. Uh, Here is the package that contains J applet. So the reason that we're using an extends here is because in applets there is no main method. It just sort of calls different methods. The constructor for a J applet is public void init for initialize. Um, this is the first, me first method called, and you don't have to have anything in there. I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to have this method, but I'm telling you about it because if you want to create different objects outside, then you can. Uh, but for now, mm, you could just use paint which is the next method. Okay, the paint method is, well, it draws the picture. So, graphics G, graphics G is, think of it as your, uh, your canvas. You can draw on it anything you want, but it's only gonna be drawn once, it's not gonna, and it will be drawn over whatever's already been drawn on the canvas. So, graphics G, you can set the color. There are many different colors. There's black, there's g.set color, color.white. Notice how white and black, they are variables of color. They're actually colors, but they're variables. Um, G dot set color. I'm sure you can find as many colors as you want if you just go to the uh, what is it called? The Java API for color. And color and graphics are actually in the package java.ot.star which I forgot about. Um, so what are we going to draw today? Let's draw a smiley face. First thing we got to do is set our color. So,
color of our smiley face is going to be yellow. Um, let's see. And then G dot fill oval. This is going to draw an oval. Um, from 10, 10, 2, 90, 90. No. 80, 80. Okay. This right here, this is the X, Y, width, and height. So, it's going to be at 10, 10. Okay, uh, something I forgot to tell you real quick. Uh, X and Y on a applet rather than like a graph like in math uh, X is it starts zero is over here and it keeps going it gets bigger as you go right but Y Y the zero is also up here it's in this corner and it gets bigger as you go down so like 10 10 it's gonna be 10 from the left and 10 from the top so it's gonna be like right there 10 pixels that is uh, an oval, well this is technically a circle, but you can see we use the same method for ovals as we do circles. Um, okay. Let's check this out. We compile it like we normally do. I'm going to save this in my Java folder. it is the first applet. Um, and now rather than the second toolbar, we click the third toolbar and it will create an applet for us. And this is just a preview window. You can actually put this in a a website. So here, let me actually show you that. Um, you get a file open, and you'll see you have your normal window right here. But if you click down, oh, click here, and go to HTML rather than Java or anything else you'll find this weird named file and that is your applet um, you can see you can change the width and height of the applet on the web document and you can click view and book browser for an internet preview and this is what it's going to look like on the web. It's a little glitchy because of my video program, but um okay, we'll close that. What we want to do right now, we also wanna Now the two eyes, let me think. What are good numbers for this? The center of our character is going to be at 50. So let's move. That's going to be the X for the left eye. Let's see, minus 20. And then. 25 is going to be the Y. And it's going to be 10 by 10. 